that, as I say, I think is quite fascinating. We have the minor in the middle, so he's, he's going to, uh, he's using the minor chords now. I don't mean we modulate because he doesn't really. We, we uh, use the minor chords in the key of G major. So here we are on E minor, A minor, back to D, on to G, yeah. And then this is a little bit interesting. We go to a C and then sort of a, an F sharp, which kind of is pretending to be chord two in E minor. And then here's a B minor chord. expect that just keep you out of your comfort zone a little bit and expect and keep you on the edge of your seat. I love the way that the bass line is written because the way it's written it's written as a quaver with a quaver rest and I just imagine the cellos or the double bass is just doing very gentle pizzicatos. <laughs> I mean, it's very, very typical, if you like, we're using these contrary rhythms, but here we have. Considering each one of those in turn will really help you to understand the piece and will really help you when, you, when it comes to your practicing. If you can practice all those different layers, you'll find you become much more sensitive to uh, the, the, the musical purpose, the musical direction that you want the music to go in. So, such a small piece of music, but it gets so much crammed into it. And behind it all is that longing for Clara. Hope you found that useful and interesting. See you soon.